Hi friends, in the studio I'm playing with these Alta New watercolor brush markers and I thought it'd be fun to show you what I've done with them. I went ahead and started without videoing, but I think that you will appreciate what I have to show you because I just realized that it's more fun to watch the experimentation and sort of be introduced to new products in different ways as opposed to seeing a perfect project. So here I am just playing around. Here I'm using an American Crafts cardstock. It's white and it is textured because I like using this side with watercolors because I noticed that some of the actual texture comes through if you dilute the pigments with a little bit of water. These brush pens do take a little bit of practice and so I didn't really figure I would video every single thing that I tried to do them, to use them, on, but I thought it would be worthwhile because I know how much you all appreciate when I just experiment with something. Oh, see that little E? It didn't go as smoothly as I would like. Like I said, when you try new brush pens or any type of new medium, even if it varies on different brands, I think there's a slight learning curve, so don't feel like you need to master every single tool that you pick up. I like to give new products more than one chance and use them in different ways. I liked how the flowers turned out, but I wanted to experiment with the lettering and mixing colors. So what I found was because the, the colors are so bold and vibrant, it's really helpful when you do dilute it with water and I think that blending these is going to be some fun times coming up as I practice a little bit more with them. And I think that the tip is really, really nice. It's a longer brush tip than the typical water brush that I'm used to using, but I have noticed the ones that have color usually have this longer tip that it just takes a minute to get used to, just like anything else. When you're using something new and the colors are really fun and vibrant, so I want to be able to use them for different things. And what I found was, you know, the less you add um, water to it, the brighter it is, obviously, right? So right out of the brush, it's very bright. But you can see that it's blended really nicely. I love how these colors go together. It feels really fresh and fun. All right, let's switch to one of my favorite products, these watercolor resist cards. I've linked everything below so that you can check them out. The easy thing about these cards is that anybody can use them. And I thought these water brush um, watercolor brush markers would look really good and vibrant on them, but I do want to use a little bit more water. So I want to show you the different ways you can do lettering, you can do flowers, and you could also use them just on these cards as well. Let's start with this seashell card. And I think that I'm going to try to do some of the back, but mostly on the front of the card instead of wearing too much. This is the sea breeze color. And because of the boldness of the colors, I'm going to dilute it with some water. And I think that it'll be a really nice kind of, you know, sea filled <laughs> goodness. But I do want to speed up this video or else it'll take forever for me to show you. But I'm simply going over and adding a little bit of water and going over lightly with the strokes because you can see here that the seashells are actually the part that gets the resist that has a resist on it so if you haven't used any of these before it's really fun I believe that everybody is creative and anybody can do this I mean kids can do it Jack loves playing around with watercolors and especially the watercolor resist cards you just need to Remember that you can always go from light to dark. It's harder to take away the color. Um, and the blending of it is easier if you actually have a separate brush. Now you can use any kind of brush you have laying around. I just grabbed one from my desk and added some water and then softened the edges a little bit. I think that that makes it slightly more ombre if that's what the look we're going for. 
Next, I'm going to take, so that was Dusk. Did I already say that? Probably. Um, and then lastly, I want to take Emerald, which is this beautiful color. I think that this is one of my favorite colors in the whole set. It's just a really rich, perfect greenish, you know, teal. Um, I think that I could achieve even more of a fun blue if you mix it with the sea breeze and a little bit of dusk. I'm definitely going to experiment with that later, but I'm gonna let this dry and then grab this other card. So it says pretty much the best, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a floral design on the right-hand side. I love the look of hand-drawn flowers, and I really wanna feel free when I am doing this type of crafting or creating, and I hope that you feel inspired to do the same thing. So as I'm going through here, I'm just sort of layering the colors on in rainbow order, and you can see those vibrant flowers coming through. I love how it's just so freeing to do this type of activity. Um, you should really take the time to get crafty and creative and do something that you love on a daily basis. I truly believe that. And I think if any of you are new to my channel, I did write a book called Craft a Life You Love, and I strongly encourage you to check it out. It's more of a self-help book disguised as a craft book because there's not actually crafts in there, but there are prompts and practices and questions that you can ask yourself. And I think it's really valuable and fun to, oh, I don't like this green, sorry. I do not like that green at all, and I'm not really sure what to do with it, but I'm going to try to, ugh, I think I just made it worse. Whoops, I added that drop there. Okay, so mistakes happen, and you have to give yourself grace. I think I bring that up in the book, too, but part of the whole process of creating and experimenting and trying new things is going through the process and learning. And I think that without actually doing, you can't learn. Ooh, I love that green that was created right there. See? Yeah. And I would have never seen that had I not made that splotch mark maybe. Um, so I think that if you take your mistakes and give it a fresh outlook, I'm going to take a paper towel to it. Let's see if that works. Oh, that is so much better. I like a little bit more of a delicate green right there. So I think this is looking really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it up, let it dry, and I am going to show you one other thing. My initial thought was that I would just show you the colors and then be able to cover this up with some photos in case I wanted to use it as a scrapbook page background, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to turn out. I think that you have to realize that sometimes your supplies and your creations aren't so precious that you have to save them and find the perfect way to use them. So part of the reason I wanted to do this color chart is just to see how vibrant the colors are right out of the brush. So that's the top one. And then the bottom one, I dip it in some water to sort of dilute it and I wanted to show you how that looks. Now, I think that through experimentation and trying these water brushes a little bit more, or these watercolor brushes, I don't know why I keep saying that, uh, I think that I'll learn a lot more techniques and things that I could do with them. But I think for now, flowers, brush lettering, and just feeling free with putting the paint down on paper, that's good enough for me. I love how vibrant these colors are. I think that they're great to blend and mix. You could probably also mix them with other inks and colors that you already have. So that's something that I really look forward to trying. This moss isn't my favorite color, although I do like it diluted with water, and then I think I just ruined that one. <laughs> Whoops. So that's not very accurate. So Sometimes the brush gets a little bit dry and you do have to experiment and play around with how much of the paint you want to squeeze out at a time. Sometimes the droplets are a little bit bigger and then there I completely messed up because I think there was more color on the brush than actual water. 
And I think that's okay. So these are the colors sea breeze and emerald mixed together, I think will be my favorite shade of blue. Let's see here. Then we have dusk. And this is kind of a blue gray, which I like too. But I just encourage you to enjoy playing around with these. Uh, let me know in the comments actually what your favorite thing to make is. Okay, so I haven't primed this one. This is my first time using this color and it's called Midnight Violet. And I'm squeezing a little bit into the pan and sort of, you know, blending it so that it has enough coverage on the brush or I thought it had enough coverage on the brush. But that's why I encourage you to play around with it. I think I a lot of people give up on supplies faster than I do. And you know what? I've been guilty of that too. I'm, I try something that somebody else has and likes and, and at first the impression is not that great. So then I skip it or I dismiss it. But really, I think that if you invest in a set like this, you really want to enjoy using it and try it for different types of paper projects. I think that you'll find that you will enjoy it in some form or fashion. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You'll want to be subscribed because subscribers get the chance to win these Altenew watercolor brush pens. Actually, Altenew wants to give away a $20 gift card and I'm going to match it. So it'll be a $40 gift card total. And I hope you enter to win. You just have to tell me which is your favorite color out of all these watercolor brush pens. And make sure you like this video. And you guys are pretty much the best. That's how you enter to win. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you feel inspired to keep those creative juices flowing. I can't wait to read all of your comments. Thanks as always for being so awesome.